What's the real reason Jackal's banned in every game? Is it because he can ping your exact location from your footsteps? Well, yes and no. Before we continue, if you've been enjoying my content or it's been helpful for you, drop a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe. It goes a long way in helping me continue to bring videos like this to you guys. We'll start out with this example clip of Jackal's abilities and then we'll get into the rest of the video. Wonder if I not bread. And it's uh yeah okay and it's the master i'm about to track i'm about to track there's one below my zombies top red what the fuck is that there's two over in cc ggs what, what, what is happening guys Gym. Just go help your teammate. Live pings. Please help the Brinson need him. He doesn't have nades. He's down now. Thank you for it. Or you're the one. Sorry, bad. You're the best. Let's start this out with the three things we're going to be going over in this video. First is, I'm actually going to encourage you to not ban Jackal. Go against the flow. Disrupt the rhythm and give them a little monkey wrench to have to deal with. After all, Jackal's banned so much that when he's not banned, people aren't exactly jumping on top of him to play him. Partially because they've kind of forgotten how to play him most effectively. And I know what you're thinking, but so have I. That's where the second thing comes in. I'm going to be showing you how I play Jackal most effectively. So that when you throw them that curveball of banning Finca or whoever, it doesn't matter. You can leverage Jackal against them while they're over there, forgetting that he's on the board to pick as an operator in the first place. Or just avoiding him altogether because it's been forever since they've even played Jackal. And third is the real reason Jackal is banned in almost every single game. Of course, this is what can happen to you if you don't ban Jackal. He's upstairs with me. He's continually tracking me over and over again. Oh, where are you getting? Over and over again, he's tracking me up there. Of course, if I would have been playing it smarter, I could have just dropped the hatch away from Jackal, since he's the only one left. But I'm also going to tell you some things you can do as a defender to work around this a little later in the video. The first thing I want to go over is, oddly enough, is his secondary shotgun. Why? Well, because part of using Jackal to his fullest is using his shotgun. And I don't know about you guys, maybe it's just me, but I have had some really frustrating experiences with Jackal and Mira's shotgun, but mostly on Jackal. I think the problem is the pellets seem really inconsistent, so making a hole in the wall that you could just crouch into is just not as easy as you thought it was, and you can end up trying to walk through a hole and getting shot. So after fiddling with it for a few minutes in a custom game, you can open a rotate for yourself with just three shots, but not every time, so it's more consistent to just use four of your five shots in the shotgun to open a rotate for yourself into the map. Especially on these wooded areas like the garage where it's not drywall, it's like wood. It breaks very unevenly and is just a hassle when you're trying to get into the building quickly. Also, did you guys know you can get on the motorcycle in here? Neat! Speaking of loadout, wait, don't do that. No, stop it. 
If you pick Jackal's primary shotgun or secondary pistol, or God forbid, primary shotgun and secondary pistol, you are most definitely memeing. Jackal's ability is literally for long range engagements. I mean, as soon as you ping them, what do they do? They start running. Best you can do is to try to shoot them through the wall. I know we don't always ping them right away, but we'll get to that a little later on. About 75% of the time, my preferred choice is the C7E because both the PDW and the C7E have the same 800 fire rate that leaves just damage, recoil, and magazine capacity to decide. The recoil on both guns is super easy. Slightly easier on the PDW, but the PDW does have lower damage. So you're more inclined to hit your headshots than center mass like you could with the C7E. Thankfully for the PDW, they gave you more bullets for that too. Overall, both are very solid weapons. I just prefer the faster killing power of the C7E. Also, it does have a 2.0 scope, which the PDW does not have. It is limited to 1.5 in holographic scopes. For the secondary gadget, in most cases, you'll probably be running smokes. Since they're a little more versatile, you can use them to burn ADSs with my discs, cut off angles that you can't deal with at the moment. But if you don't need to do any of those things, you could bring claymores, for example, to clay off a window so that your hard breach can get a wall safely. When you get jackal pinged, a lot of times you're probably going to know where that jackal is coming from. Not always, but usually he'll be somewhat close, unless you're just running all over the map. When jackal pings, you don't freak out. Usually one's first thoughts are to run, and sometimes that's the play. But oftentimes what I like to try and do instead is to bait the jackal pings. You have to remember, yes, jackal is trying to kill you, but his primary job is to clear and get map control. So oftentimes what I will do to stall him out is move back and forth dramatically, standing in a certain place when the next jackal ping hits, and then stand in a completely different place on the next ping to try and disorient him while also not giving up my map control. Just because he gets a ping every now and then doesn't always mean he knows exactly where you are in between. So personally, I like to play more aggressive with jackals to let them know I'm not screwed. But if he's got multiple people helping him hunt you down, then you might be in a pickle. And pushing back trying to get back to the bomb site might just be the best way. Now Jackal's direct counter is Kavera. When Kavera is cloaked, she cannot be Jackal pinged or tracked by Jackal. When she's uncloaked, it's just like a normal operator. Another good but not great counter is Mute. You can't track me if I'm laying down. Oh, it turns it off. That's a nice update. Can't track you if you're laying down. Oh my god. I guess that's true. Dude, I've seen this in Poli. <laughs> they stink the way so they don't get jackal. Mute's gadget strongly affects Jackal's ability when Jackal is close to a mute jammer, effectively blinding Jackal while he's trying to use the gadget. Although even if you're standing in a mute jammer, I'm pretty sure you can still be Jackal Pink if he's not standing in one. So where should you use Jackal? Well, the way I see it, his primary job is to clear out roamers, people running around the map loosely who need to be tracked down. And Jackal is the man to do it. It only makes sense to me to start either at the top floor in the map where you least expect people to be and work your way down. In most cases, or if the bomb site is on the top floor, you would work your way from the opposite side of the map, clearing people out, hopefully getting the kills, or forcing them back into the bomb site. That is his primary job, and there's really no better operator to do it. Although Ayana offers a similar ability, I guess you could say, by cloning in and finding out where people are, Jackal is definitely the king of roam clear and makes it far more seamless. Now, it's time to talk about Jackal's ability, which brings us back around to the question of why is Jackal banned almost every every single ranked game. And the answer is split into two reasons. The first reason is that when Jackal first came out, he was actually much stronger than he is now. First of all, the defender's footprints would be up for an absurdly long time. We're talking like almost half the round. So he could be anywhere in the map at almost any time in the round. And if you've been through there, he could track you. So they nerfed the time that the defender footprints would stay up for. But that's not the only thing. Jackal's C7E being as good as it is, also had a full 30 round magazine, which was great for pre-firing people through the wall once you pinged them, and of course is just more ammo than the 25 that he got nerfed to. And finally, before his final nerf, he used to have four maybe five, I don't recall, but he had at least four tracking pings, which has now been nerfed down to three, at least depending on when you watch this video. Now, as much as I loved Jackal, I wasn't very happy to hear all the nerfs they were giving him, but it wouldn't be far out to say that he was pretty OP, especially with the four Jackal pings and the really long foot track duration. And don't quote me on this, but I think that they also nerfed how many times the defender got pinged once they were tracked. So before 
Ori got nerfed, it might seem obvious. Yeah, we gotta get this guy out of here. He can literally single-handedly clear the map. Like, duh, Banjackal. But what about after the nerfs? He's definitely nowhere near as powerful as he was. So why is he still the second highest banned operator right underneath Thatcher in the game? The first reason is because the community is used to banning Jackal. Jackal is easy to use. Anyone can do it. And because honestly, the community doesn't really know what else to ban. At least most of the community. And the second reason that might not be quite as obvious is that Jackal always has been and still is really strong. Because it's not about Jackal's ability to ping someone's location that makes Jackal very strong. That's like icing on the cake. The real strength of Jackal's gadget comes from the fact that he can see the color gradient in your footsteps. Blue being the coldest trail and red being the hottest trail. So using the footstep colors, you can literally walk right up to where a defender is standing without ever pinging them or letting them know that you know where they are. This is arguably a much better way of using Jackal because you can know right where they're standing without telling them by pinging them that you're coming directly to them. That's what I think on why Jackal's being banned so much. What do you think? Do you tend to agree with me on this? And another good question is with the Finca LMG nerf coming in soon, do you guys think that the Jackal ban will just remain and it'll always be this way? Personally, Jackal is very strong, but I think the community just needs to chill out with the Jackal ban. Try something else, if only for the sake of just trying something else. Anyway, I hope this was interesting and I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. Terrace. That guy is so mad. Downstairs, bottom left, left, left. He made oh, yeah, he's still, he's still there. I think there's one, uh, you know, all over here. Wolf. Here. Yep, he's dead. Nice. I have footprints here. He must be, uh, close. 